The city of London is well known both for its reputation as a health care centre and also as a university town which inspires breakthrough research. Tonight we'll look at the second in a multi-part series which investigates some of the groundbreaking medical research being done by graduate students at the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry at Western. I was at Brescia College this morning to find out more about the power of good bacteria, or probiotics. On a regular basis we add a natural strawberry flavoring to it. It looks and tastes like any other yogurt. But these specific formulas made by graduate students here at Western so have the potential to help the body fight disease, boost the immune system, and even relieve allergy symptoms. And we just basically do it by weight, so it's 4% of the probiotic. And we put it in like this. My hope is that it'll become part of uh, a feeding program in Africa where they can combine probiotics, which we know are very ben beneficial for immunity and for gastrointestinal health. Uh, I'm hoping that it can be combined to be a powerful uh, food aid in some of the impoverished countries. Jamie Hemsworth is one of a team of graduate students making yogurt with specific strains of good bacteria called probiotics to see the effect this will have on health. And basically we're getting the micronutrient into the appropriate formula so that it tastes good and the yogurt is safe to eat so it's not too, there's not too many micronutrients but at the same time there's enough that will be healthy. To transfer the growth over to a new plate so we can get fresh colonies. The yogurt begins in this lab at Lawson Health Research where the probiotics are cultivated. Kara Koyama is conducting a clinical trial to determine whether or not these good bacteria can relieve allergy symptoms specifically towards environmental allergens such as grass and yeah. ragweed pollens. So we're growing up these um, probiotic strains in the lab and then we're putting in, them into yogurts and we're giving these to volunteers and volunteers are eating the yogurt for two months. Their immune responses and symptoms are tracked for that two month period to look for changes. Basically we won't know um, what, what kind of results we have for another few months but I hope everything correlates well. The nice thing about Tara is uh, that she came to us as a student who wanted to do something practical and so she wanted to take observations from the laboratory and then actually test them in humans. So she'll come out with a, an, a quite a broad experience, very practical microbiology and clinical application.